fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! From the trail of my girl, Well, Silver! Hey! As the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced through the pass, the men on top of the ridge opened fire on them. But Silver and Scout Speed carried them out of danger. Once through the pass, they cut away from the main trail and finally reined up in a grove of trees not far from the river. Steady, Silver. Oh, steady, oh, boy. Oh. <sighs> Red River Valley, Tonto. Oh, we finally got here. Ah, uh, it's plenty long ride. Uh, still another two weeks before the election. We'll have plenty of time to look around. You think men on Ridge? Crook? Well, they were ranchers. That's all we can be sure of. Well, them shoot. Well, after all, I'm wearing a mask. You can't blame them for thinking I'm an outlaw. Uh. We know the reason for that guard on the Ridge. The ranchers don't want any more homesteaders in the valley. How you find out which rancher member Black Era? I don't know yet. The first thing... I... <coughs> You're right, Silver. The first thing is to get that saddle off and give you a good rub down. <coughs> That same day, the stage from the east broke down just as it entered the valley. A driver and the guard were finding it hard to make the necessary repairs when a young cowboy rode up and lent a hand. Mary Seaton, inside the stage, watched him admiringly as he shouldered the brunt of the work, and when the stage was ready to roll once more... Howdy, ma'am. How do you do? If you don't mind, I've hitched my cayuse on the back, and I'd like to ride with you away. I... I'd be glad to have the company. Why, it's fine. Let her rumble, boys! Hey, tell me you're the new school teacher, Brian Phil. Yes, I, I am. You think you'll like it out here? I don't know why not. It's beautiful. Yeah, the valley is kind of pretty this time of year. Especially where it hasn't been spoiled. Spoiled? <laughs> well, I guess I better not talk that way to you. You'll be teaching the homesteaders kids, won't you? What do you mean? Well, just take a look out the window. The grass as far as you can see. That's what I call pretty. But where they've dug up the sod and there's nothing but bare dirt around, I don't care much for that. Did you ever see a field of ripe grain? Yep. I like grass better. <laughs> well, we won't argue. But I can't believe you're like some of the ranchers I've heard about. What have you heard? That they're wild and lawless. And that they don't have any regard for the rights of other people. Meaning the homesteaders? Meaning the homesteaders. The ranchers would like nothing better than to drive them out of the valley. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. How can you say such a thing? 
They've settled on government land, and they have a perfect right to stay there. Cattlemen were here first. There's plenty of room for both. Yeah, well, like you said, ma'am, we won't argue. I'd just like to know where you get your information about the ranchers. From Jeff Bryant. Oh, him. Don't you dare say anything against Jeff. He's a very good friend of mine. If you must know, he's asked me to marry him. And I think I'm going to say yes. No, you couldn't do that. Why not? He's a fine man. He's intelligent, and he's strong and tall, <laughs> and he's every bit as good-looking as you are. There's just one awful thing about him. There's nothing awful about him. You can't deny he's a farmer. So we're back to that again. Yes, ma'am. It's sort of in the air out here. Well, if you can't talk about anything else, I'd rather not talk at all. Would you mind telling me if Jeff has any special complaints? Mm, a few. For instance? Well, there's a crazy young rancher named Dick Thompson, for instance. He thinks it's smart to get drunk and come riding into a peaceful little town like Bryantville and shoot up the place. Uh, do you work for Chick Thompson? No, ma'am. Jeff told me all about him as a sort of warning. What I'd have to expect out here. But I'm not afraid of men like that. I'd like nothing better than meet him face to face and tell him what I think of him. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, then there's a lecture you're going to have. Oh, he mentioned that too, huh? Of course. He didn't want me to come out until it was over. Can you give me one good reason why the ranchers want to get rid of a fine lawman like Sheriff Cameron and elect a ruffian like Red Gordon in his place? We're partial to our friends, ma'am. The sheriff's never been unfair to the ranchers. He enforces the law, that's all. And, and this chick, Tom. Back to him again, huh? Do you know him? Yes, ma'am. Can you deny that he's been threatening the homesteaders, trying to scare them out of voting for Cameron? Well, maybe you're right about Chick. I guess he does drink too much. And when he drinks too much, he talks too much. Oh, I despise a man like that. Uh, my ranch is just over that way. I guess I'll be leaving you now. Rain up, Bill! Oh, oh boy! Oh, 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 I don't see any buildings. And they're over the rise. Oh. That writing pad you got there, ma'am. Could I borrow your pencil and a sheet of paper? Of course. Here. Thanks. You see, being new out in this country, you might need a friend sometime. I want to know where you can get hold of me. Here you are. Oh, that's very nice. Adios. Goodbye. Let me see. Just a second while I'm his paint, Bill. He no, Chick. Chick. Writing isn't very good, but... Chick Thompson. Circle T. Ranch. Adios. Get up there, boy. Come on. Get up there. That night, Chick rode over to Ben Chalmers' Bar X Ranch. He opened the front door without knocking and walked into the big living room. Red Gordon was sitting at the table. Hello, Chick. Howdy. Where's Ben? Right at the kitchen. He'll be back in a minute. How things going? About the same, I guess. What are you doing tonight after we get through with Ben? I figured I might write him to Bryant. Ah, oh, but for uh, at the homesteaders' town. Put him in the county seat with me. No, thanks, Red. Well, if you have to go to Bryantville, shoot it up a little before you leave. Uh-huh. It's been, uh... Yeah. Hello, Chick. I've just been hiring a new cook. It's the first time I ever took on an engine, but beggars can't be choosers. You got any orders for me? Mm, nothing special. Just keep up the good work. Pay a few more calls on the homesteaders and show them how straight you can shoot. Uh, you figure that does any good? Well, sure it does. The more we drum it into them that Claiborne is a cattle town and homesteaders aren't safe there, the better off we'll be on election day. Sure, Chick. we got to go to Claiborne to vote. We got to keep him away. If all the homesteaders vote, Red hasn't got a chance. Well, if that's all, uh, have a drink before you go. No, I, I'm cutting down. That's a good idea. I wish I could persuade Red to do the same. <laughs> so long, Jen. So long, Jake. Uh, see you tomorrow night. Yeah. So long. Red. Yeah. Where's he going? Brandville. You don't think he's getting friendly with the homesteaders, do you? Oh no. What gave you that idea? I didn't like what he said. What's more, I didn't like the way he looked when he said it. He just asked if you thought it did any good. I to... heard him. But you know where we'd be if we lost him. Chick Thompson's the only reason we got the cattleman solid behind I us. Know. You don't have to worry, though. You get over to Bryantville yourself tonight. Watch him close. I want to know everybody he talks to and everything he says. Kino, Ben, I'll watch him like a hawk. <laughs> An hour later, but the Lone Ranger, without his mask but wearing a disguise, reined up on the outskirts of Bryantville. He left Silver there and then started down the main street. Ahead of him, he saw a young couple come out of a small white cottage and turn toward the center of town. 
He slowed his walk in order to keep behind him. Their conversation reached him clearly. Oh, I'm proud of you, Jeff. This is really your town. The stores and the new school and all the homes. Well, you're giving me too much credit, Mary. No, I'm not. It's yours, all of it. You led these people out here and you showed them how to start a new life. The only thing I'll take credit for is my farm. I wish we could have driven out there before dark. You can come and get me tomorrow, can't you? Sure thing, bright and early. Oh, uh, do you like your cottage? Oh, it's perfect. But you shouldn't have gone to all that trouble. I could have boarded with someone and then, well, it, it won't be long before we get married. Oh, it's good to hear you say that. But you've got to make sure you like the West first. Oh, I love it. Bryantville isn't the West. We've tried to make this just like any country town back east. But all around us, and well, it's different. Take Claiborne, for instance. I'll be living here, not in Claiborne. Where have I Oh. What's the matter? That man standing out in front of the cafe. Oh, yeah. I wrote you about him. That's Chick Thompson. Would you like to cross over on the other side of the street? And no, avoid... Jeff. I... I think you're wrong about Chick. What's that? I met him today. He helped the driver fix the coach when we broke down. And afterwards, he rode a little way with us. We had quite a talk. I'm not wrong, Mary. There's nothing I've told you that isn't the truth. Not, not about what he's done, perhaps. But about the sort of man he is. You may be mistaken there. Actions speak louder than words. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Red is headed to join you, Chick. Come on in. Hey, no matter, Red. We have Percy. <laughs> that was our candidate for sheriff, Red Gordon. Good evening, Miss Peyton. Hello, Chick. Oh, I was a little surprised when I found out who you were. That's so? You acted like a gentleman. Oh, I always try to act like a gentleman when I'm talking with a lady. You see, Jeff? I don't know whether you two have ever met socially, but I don't see how you can stop me from introducing you. Mary. Jeff, this is Chick Thompson. Chick, Jeff Dyer. Howdy. Howdy. Aren't you going to shake hands? There's no sense to that. We just as soon not. I realize that one of you is a rancher and the other a homesteader, but if it weren't for that, I think you two could be good friends. I don't see why you should let a difference of opinion stand in your way. It goes a lot deeper than that, Mary. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> I wonder if you still think so after you've eaten some of my apple pie. Huh? I want you both to come to supper at my house tomorrow night. Mary, you can't ask a no good owner. I'll be glad to come, Miss Eden. What about you, Jeff? I'll be there. Don't you worry about that. That's fine. I'll expect you both at 6 o'clock. <laughs> what are you wasting your time with that trash for? Easy there, Red. Watch your talk. Farm in the prosnickety school, man. You got a little Shut your mouth, Red, or I'll shut it for you. Yeah. That's just what I've been waiting to hear. Now that you got a girl in your arm, you got to stop calling and start talking big. All right. Talking means shooting to me. Go for your gun. It'll be a pleasure, but not when Miss Eaton's around. Mary, I think... We aren't waiting for nothing. Go for your gun. Look out, Jeff. Where'd that shot come from? It knocked the gun right off his hand. Get on your horse and get out of here, Red. You're covered. Into the saddle. Chick. You had it coming, Red. I'm not waiting much longer. All right, I'm going. You'll be sorry that mind your own business, stranger. I won't forget this. See that you don't. I'm going to be the new sheriff of this county, see? And all you gunmen will end up on the gallows. Get up, Red. Get up, get up. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Red galloped down the street. 
The Lone Ranger turned on his heel and left the little group in front of the cafe. Once outside the town, he mounted Silver and rode back to camp. There he found Tonto waiting for him. Steady, Silver. Steady, boy. Aye, Kimasabi. You've been gone a long time, Tonto. Ah, uh, make a job at Bar X. Cook. That's fine. Did you find out anything about Chalmers? Ah, uh, me see black arrow on wrist. Him man you look for. Is Red Gordon a member, too? Well, me not know about him. Well, he must be. Otherwise, Chalmers wouldn't be trying to get him elected sheriff. Well, Tonto here ranchers do what Chalmers say, because young fellow named Thompson tell him. You mean the only hole they have on their ranches is through Thompson? That's right. That explains why Red didn't want him to get friendly with Jeff Bryant. Why is that? They had a little argument in Bryantville. Mary Seaton, a new school teacher, is trying to bring Jeff and Chick together. If she manages it, Tonto, Cameron will be reelected. We won't have anything to worry about. The only trouble is that Chalmers will do everything in his power to stop her. That means a girl will be in danger from now on. Maybe so. There's no doubt about it. Here, help me get rid of this disguise. Uh, Afterwards, you'd better go back to the ranch. Um, what you do? It's time we took Sheriff Cameron into our confidence. Silver and I are heading for Claiborne. evening, Ben Chalmers paced the floor of his living room. Red Gordon sat near the window. Oh, it's seven o'clock. Is there any sign of him? Nope. That means he isn't coming. I told him it was important. I knew he wouldn't be here. He's having supper with a school teacher, Jeff Bryant. Yeah. I met with a set, Ben. I was standing just inside the cafe door. I could see the way he was looking at him. He's in love. Ah. You can't blame him much. The girl's a looker. Uh, she's going to marry Bryant, isn't she? Well, a chick might figure you can change her mind. There must be some way out of this. There must be some way to keep him from making a fool of himself. What I'm worried about is he's making a fool out of us. Uh, let's see. The girl. If something was to happen to her... That wouldn't do any good. He'd just be driving Chick and Jeff together. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't finished. She disappears, and Chick Thompson disappears with her. Uh, now, shut up. I, I'm getting up. Jeff would think Chick had kidnapped her. He'd get all the farmers together and He'd then... get Cameron, too. They'd search the country and find him. The girl would tell the truth and say it wasn't Chick who kidnapped her. She couldn't say that if she was dead. Oh. They'd take Chick a prisoner and put him in jail. When the ranchers got wind of that, there'd be a fight. That's as good a way as any of clearing out the extra homesteaders. There's one angle you got to work out still. What? They find the girl, she's dead. They find Chick at the same time. But he'd have to be tied up. When they see him that way, they know he's... They don't to... find him at the same time. They just disappear at the same time. Oh, yeah. It don't make any difference what Chick says. They won't believe him. Aquino, you can't have any part in it, though. I got some in camp beyond the valley. They can take care of Chick. But like you say, the girl won't be able to talk afterwards. Why can't I take care of her? You can. Get moving. This has to be done tonight. Ah, Red Leaf Ranch, one hour ago. We can't take any chance in the girl being hurt, but we may be able to use their plan in a different way. Good boy. Oh, get him up, Scout. Of that now, but if you'll do as we say, 
We may be able to put those crooks where they belong, in jail. I know your voice, masked man. You're the stranger who saved Jeff's life. You didn't give me a chance to thank you then, but if there's anything I can do, I'm willing. Then listen. She's gone. Something's wrong here. I'll let her live and see. What's that propped up on the table? Note. Dear Jeff, I've gone out to Mrs. Shannon's farm. She's been taken ill. <laughs> That's fine. It'll be easy to get her out there. Just take the note with me. The job's as good as done. Hey, Ben. What's the idea? What have you come back here for? Change your plans, that's all. The girl's out of Mrs. Shannon's farm. I'm going after her. What about your men? They're getting chick at 3 o'clock. You better ride over there and make sure everything goes smooth. You gave them their orders, didn't you? I mean, check on their getaway. Oh, Kino. I'll see you tomorrow. Thompson stirred uneasily in his sleep. Uh, then suddenly he sat bolt upright. What? Steady, mister. He felt the cold steel of a gun muzzle pressing against his temple. Don't make a move or I'll squeeze the trigger. What is this? Get him, boys. Gag him and rope him good. Hey, oh. Mary and Mrs. Shannon were waiting in the front room of the farmhouse. The old woman was nervous and could hardly control her hand as she lifted a cup to her lips. There, now. Did you ever see anyone more clumsy than I am? I've spilt it. I'll wipe it up, Mrs. Shannon. It's only a few drops. I can do it myself. You know, this wasn't my idea in the first place, Mrs. Shannon. If you'd rather have me go, I will. Oh, stay right where you are. I know whose idea it was, and I've never felt more safe in my life. It's just this waiting that gets on my nerves. He shouldn't be long now. Shouldn't I be in bed, though, if I'm supposed to be sick? You don't have to pretend at all. Oh, that's a blessing. Black-hearted villain. The mere sight of a face will put such strength in my tongue and my arm. There'll be no control in them. But you might control them. I'll do my best. That's all I can promise. Listen. One horse. Which is no doubt. I'll answer the door. You'll do no such thing. Have you forgotten your instructions? That's the one moment of... It's Maggie Shannon that'll open the door. Hello, Miss Shannon. Hello, Red. What do you want? Uh, Miss Seaton's here, isn't she? She is. Well, I'm... Glad to see you looking so well. Uh, she's got to come back to town right away. Well, I don't think she has any intention of doing that. But I'll let you talk to her yourself. Come in. Uh, thanks. Mary, it's Red Gordon. She says you've got to go back to town. Why, Mr. Gordon? I got bad news, Miss Seaton. There's a friend of yours who's been hurt bad. He's at the doctor's. A friend? You don't mean Jeff, do you? That's it. They don't know if he's going to pull through or not. If you want to see him alive, you better hurry. This is no time of night for a young girl to be riding the trail alone. I'll be with it. That's worse than being alone. You keep out of this. Mrs. Shannon's right. I'll wait until morning before I start. Did you hear what I said about Jeff? I heard you, Mr. Gordon. But I don't believe a word of it. Huh? You see, I know exactly what you're up to. You plan to kill me. That's why she came out here, where she could be safe. You picked a mighty poor spot, sister. At the least, she's got me to protect her. That's funny, that is. Well, I might not be able to stop you, but you'd hang for it, that's sure. I got a bullet for each of you. Oh, now it's going to be wholesale murder. There's just one thing I don't get, Miss Seaton. If you was warned, why didn't you go to Jeff's farm? Because Jeff had something better to do than take care of me. What do you mean? Your gunmen were planning to take Chick Thompson a prisoner tonight. How did you know about And Jeff that? had to get all the homesteaders and the ranchers together to stop them. That note. You left a note for Jeff. Wrong again, Mr. Gordon. I left a note for you. What the... If that's Sam... Ben! Hurry up. What's 
murder. They might have been captured. They're sure to talk. We've got to clear out of the county. Now, wait a minute. Wait, nothing. The ranchers and farmers are riding together. The game's up for good. I'm not leaving before I finish these two off. We'll make it fast. Okay. Up with them, Tommy. The mask man. The Lone Ranger and the Sheriff. They've been waiting in the kitchen with the door parts open. They've heard and seen everything. Oh, my head. This has happened before, Red. You should know your hand isn't hurt. You? Yes, the stranger. Gordon, you and Chalmers are under arrest. But I've been told you won't hang here. There will be soldiers coming to take you to Fort Union. I just want to make sure of you, Gordon. I see your wrist. No. The Black Arrow. Stick out your hand. Somebody else riding up. Larry. It's Jeff. Are you all right? Jeff and Chick. Together. I like the sound of that. Larry. Are you all right? Of course I am. Didn't Tyler tell you there was nothing to worry about? Oh, I couldn't help it. It's good to see you. Have you noticed the prisoners, Chick? Yeah, those handcuffs look pretty good to me, too. How do the ranchers feel about the homesteaders now? Just like I do. There's one thing certain, Sheriff. Nobody's going to run against you for a long, long time. That means the homesteaders will get protection. they got a right to it. Oh, Chick. Mary, if I ever said anything against Jeff, I'd take it all back. There's only one thing I'm hoping, that he'll let me be the best man at your wedding. you got your wish, mister, and the wedding's going to be tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. tomorrow, is it? Could I... Hey, Miss Hunter. What is it, Hunter? Hunter, meet the Indian outside of town. Him carry message from Padre. From the... from the Padre? Ah. Uh. We get there plenty fast. Steady, boy. Steady, Silver. <laughs> Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come. Come, Silver. Come. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Uh-huh.